are the Great Orm. It's undeniably great, but why is it an orm? Where's the name come from? It comes from a Norse word um, for worm, but the Victorians, I think, made it a little bit grander and, and made it sound a bit more impressive. Um, so often it's referred to as the serpent or the sea monster's head. The sea monster's head yeah. or the great orm, the great worm. Yes. Um, Trevor, it's a face place that's famed for its botany. I once drove all the way from Southampton here to see the dark red hellebring. I saw it. Worth every mile. It was, no, <laughs> I, I, well, I needed it on my orchid list. I was, I was trying to see every orchid in the UK and that's what brought me all the way here. But uh, aside from a single species, botanically it's an interesting place. Yeah, I mean botanically there are over 700 species of flowering plants recorded here and if you look behind us Chris we've got these you know sort of acid mountains which is the rest of, uh, of Wales and then completely different to that this vast slab of limestone lying in the Irish Sea surrounded on three sides by uh, warm hot sunshine and you know this is just a completely different environment from anywhere else in, in Wales so we get not only lots of different plants but some really special plants as well and, and a few that are found nowhere else in the world. Fantastic and, and in terms of maintaining it, it grazing is very much a part of it. Yes essential to grazing, uh, grazing to the habitats yeah. Thank you.